Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 7 of Book 1, which basically states that if we have a line, and from the end of this line, two other lines meeting at a point, this point is unique. There does not exist another point where lines of the same length meet. So this cannot exist, where we have two lines of equal length extending from the base meeting at two separate points. So we, here we have our triangle ABC with length R1 and R2. And the proposition essentially states that point C is unique. So how we're going to prove this proposition is by contradiction. In other words, we are going to assume there is a point D such that BD is equal to R2 and DA is equal to R1. Let's connect C and D and look at the triangle CDA. Now this triangle is an isosceles triangle since two sides are equal in length, which we know from proposition six, the interior angles are equal and we will call them alpha. Similarly, if we look at the triangle CDB, it is also an isosceles triangle since the two sides of the triangle are equal in length. And we will call the interior angles, which must be equal, beta. So let's have a closer look at this vertex C. It's clear that the angle beta is less than the angle alpha. If we look at the vertex D, it is clear that alpha is less than beta. So putting this together, or looking at them simultaneously, we have two equations where alpha is greater than beta and beta is greater than alpha, which is impossible. The two statements cannot both be true. Hence, we have proven a contradiction and therefore the point D cannot exist. And thus, we have demonstrated that if we have a triangle with two sides R1 and R2, there is one point and one point only where these two lines will meet. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.